My name is, is Candace Whiting. I am reporting from Mount St. Mary's University. Thank you, Candace, and thank you uh, for being here from Special Olympics, Candace. My name is Thomas Powell. A lot of people call me Tom, and I am the president here of Mount St. Mary's, and I've been the president for the last 12 years, and I love my job. It's the best job I've ever had, and it's an honor to be the president of this university. Mount St. Mary's University was founded in 1808. Bradley Hall, one of the oldest buildings on campus, is now the administration building. Do you have a favorite building here on campus at Mount St. Mary's University? Well, that's a good question. You know, the campus is very historic and we have a lot of wonderful places. But when I want to just be at a very special place, I go up to our grotto, our grotto of Our Lady of Lourdes, and it's a very quiet place, and it's uh, very historic, and it's a place that I think I can be close, not only am I up on the mountain, but I feel very close to God there. As a small university, 1,612 under, undergraduate st students attend. Also, students from 35 total states and 16 foreign countries. How important is it to have a big impact in respecting the dignity of all people to actively have a part in resolving the problems facing hum humanity and building better, more inclusive communities? You know, Candace, I am so happy that you've asked that question. I think that question gets to the heart of what we're trying to do here at Mount St. Mary's University. All people, and I said all, not just some, all people are important to our society. It doesn't matter um, where you were born, what your faith is, uh, what color your skin is, what kind of abilities you have, all people are important. And what we strive to uh, teach our students here, our undergraduate students and our graduate students, is that our job is to enable, ennoble, and empower people. And the best way we know to do that is to reinforce the notion that people need to be included in society and that we're better as a society when we include more people, especially people who might be a little different than us. And we're trying to build that here at Mount St. Mary's. It's a great question, though. Yeah. I'm glad you're asking that. Thank That's you. That's a tough question. Yeah. Uh, is your family involved with Special Olympics? We have been involved with Special Olympics since 1975. Uh, my son, my oldest son, um, has an intellectual disability, and uh, he also has autism. And so when he was just growing up, uh, we were uh, actively involved in Special Olympics. When he was five, he went, I think, to his first Special Olympics in Montana. And so I've also been on the board of Special Olympics in Connecticut and in Montana and also in Maryland here in Tennessee. And uh, so we've been involved in many different states uh, in Special Olympics. And I've usually been involved as a dad uh, going to uh, support my son. It's been very important to our family. And our other children, um, my other son and my daughter, have been actively involved in, in participating as a whole family in Special Olympics. How has it impacted your lives? Well, I think what, what it has helped, when our son was born in 1970, there weren't as many services for people with disabilities uh, as there are now. And it was Special Olympics that first gave us some hope as, as a family that our son could be doing some other things rather than just being viewed as somebody who happened to have a disability. That people were encouraging him uh, to be an athlete. And we have also seen the Special Olympic movement uh, be a better movement from its early days to what it is now. And so it's really helped us to think about how we treat our son, how we treat ourselves, how we feel about ourselves as parents who have uh, children with disabilities. And now he's not a child anymore. He's like you, Candace. He's an adult, and uh, we have great respect for him as an adult. Uh, serving your c c 
community is very important. How has it impacted you? Well, serving our community, I think as Americans, and, and I, let me be, sound patriotic right now, as Americans, we all have an obligation to serve our country. And we have an opportunity to serve our community. And the best way I know in my field of expertise to serve our community is to make sure that I'm helping to build inclusive communities um, where people of all different types of abilities are coming together. And I have made, a, made it my point to make sure that we are improving services for all people, especially people who have some disabilities or have some differences. And uh, we take a, I, I take a lot of pride in being part of that movement. Now, it's not all me, but I'm part of it, and I, I want to work very hard to make sure we have inclusive communities for people with disabilities. Uh, why is it important to you? Well, it's important because we're human beings. It's important that my life can be better. And I think about all of my friends uh, who uh, have different abilities and they have differences. And they have made, Candace, they have made my life better. And I, I have just been so pleased uh, to have co-workers who have disabilities, to have people in my life that have made me better as a better, better person. They've taught me things. And I always say this about my son. As much as I love my son and think I've, t I've taught my son some things, my son Nick, mm -hmm. my son Nick has taught me more about myself. And that's why it's important. Mount St. Mary's U University has been hosting the Fall Sports F Fest for almost 30 years. Why is this partnership so successful? Well, I think it's successful because we get to work with the good people of Maryland Special Olympics and the wonderful athletes that come here. Our students are learning about the power of inclusion, the power of inclusion in our society. And here's a day that we obviously, it takes time to prepare for it and our students get prepared and they volunteer, but it's a day that helps to change the lives, not only of the athletes who come, uh, to our campus, but also the students uh, who help those athletes and help run the events. And everybody loves when uh, Maryland Special Olympics is here for their Fall Fest. It, 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 it changes our campus around. It's a beautiful day. Even when it's raining, Candace, it's still a good day. Why do the, the students respond so well to it? Because I think they're, they're, they're learning. They're, uh, respecting, uh, they get to see athletes who inspire them, they get to see athletes who challenge us, and they, they respond, it's a happy day, it's a good day, it's a good day for learning, but it's a day really about respect, and that's what it's all about. Thank you for your time and patience, I appreciate it. Candace, you've <laughs> been a great, you know, I've been interviewed a lot, Candace, and I don't think I've had a more enjoyable interview. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you.